So you've heard about Drupal, you've heard about uh, content management systems, um, something of that nature, or you've done a little programming yourself and you're just kind of ready to kick it off and, and want to know where to get started. Um, this tutorial isn't really, or these set of tutorials are really aren't for the advanced PHP programmer. They're kind of an introduction to Drupal, to somebody who wants to set up a blog, who may be coming over from WordPress or or, uh, or Joomla or, or just something starting brand out, uh, brand new. We've got this, uh, uh, Drupal's really, really good. I, I like it. There's, you, you do a lot with your content, do a lot with your, with your site, moving things around. Um, it's, it, it's user permission based, so a lot of, uh, a lot of the things you may do uh, will revolve around your user roles and whatnot as well. Um, but just for now, we want to get a site up and going. So, a couple things you need to do. First, you need to download Drupal. Um, Drupal is free. Uh, free software. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, and I'm going to extract it. Um, install and extract. Or, uh, it's not so much an install. When you think of an install as a as a Windows program or, or a Linux program or something like that, it's more of uploading files and then configuring it to use a database. Um, you know, the current version right there, uh, Drupal 6.19. Uh, this is what I've just downloaded, and I've actually, you know, it took all of 30 seconds to get it done and get it on my system. Um, oops, if I head over to my home folder there. You can see it's right there. Sitting there, there's Drupal, there's the install, there's all the files I need. Um, next thing I need to do, I need to go get, after I've downloaded, I go get my database set up um, on Bluehost. So what I'm using here, you've got this, uh, uh, essentially the databases section, PHP MI admin, my, my SQL, and uh, my SQL databases. And you've also got the, the Postgres, I think, Postgres SQL um, stuff. But for right now, I'm just going to do uh, a MySQL database because that's what um, is easy to do. I'm not going to get in a database argument here. Uh, but anyways, create the... Uh, Username, create your database, and actually I've already got one created here. Um, this DGIT is what I'm going to use, and then you create you create a user, uh, which for the sake of this argument is the same as my database with a password, and then add your user to the database. Um, so if I was going to add the user to the database, select my user, select that, add done, um, and then we've got our our database created. But there's nothing in the database. That, for that, we got to go over to our Drupal install. Um, and I got to, um, I'm sorry, actually, we've got to <laughs> upload the files first and back that up. So there's my download, that's where I installed it to. Um, Upload it here to to my personal site. Um, it comes with everything you see here, everything you need. Um, there's going to be one change though. This default settings.php we're going to have to um, duplicate. Uh, and there's a couple ways to do it. Um, I'm going to rename this DGIT and upload it. That's my the Drupal folder, the Drupal dash 6.19. I just renamed that to GGIT and uploaded it because this is going to be a secondary site. If you're going to be uploading it to your public HTML or something like that, you're just going to copy the files within um, all these files in there. But since I want it to be its own directory um, or its uh, subdirectory of one of my sites, uh, that's what it's going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So all we got to do is wait for all those to upload. In the meantime, you can kind of go check out some modules. Um, if you ever, if you went to that download tab up the top, you saw uh, for the Drupal project, there's project sites, modules, themes. Um, I'm sorry, Drupal project installation profiles, modules, themes, theme engines, translations. There's, I mean, there's a lot here. Um, we're going to stick with most of my time is the modules and the themes. 
what that's where I spend a lot of time at just because that's where um, those are the two that bring the functionality to the site a lot of the functionality the way it looks the way it acts the way it feels um, all that kind of stuff so we're almost there on our upload um, if you saw way back when the uh, my wireless cut out and, and jump back in that's why I was get, I uh, had to overwrite the file bit because it only got partially uploaded um, but also for those of you who haven't seen this program I'm using FileZilla um, that's how I'm uploading the files and sending them to the site you can use uh, WSFTP you can use um, oh, FileZilla is, is probably one of the best ones out there for it Send more transfers at once. I don't think I'm doing too much for my bandwidth right now. There we go. So our, our site's uploaded. And if I go to my site, um, oops, I'm going to get a page not found. There we go. So I forgot to put the trailing slash on the end, but there we go. This is kind of what it looks like, and this is kind of how we install. Uh, install Drupal in English. Um, and if you see this error, I kind of left this error out there so you can see what I was talking about. It says, Drupal install requires that you create a settings part as part of the installation. Um, so we copy the, the default one to a regular one, and it'll take, every, er, take care of everything for us. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my FileZilla, find that site's default, default settings. I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to take out the default dot and then upload it to my site. So now I've got that uploaded. Let's try again. Here we go. So here's my database type. This is where you would choose your Postgres or MySQL. Uh, database name, database username, password. And if you have anything uh, special, if you're on GoDaddy, you're probably going to select uh, the database host is something dot secure service uh, secure server dot net um, possibly a different port if you're running your own database but for what I'm doing right now don't need to do it so there's my username and my password or my username and my database name um, and there's my database password Assuming that's the right one, and now we've got installing Drupal here. Um, that's all it really took. Now we've kind of got some stuff to to finish up about. I'm gonna um, call this one just Drupal Guy in Texas. Um, one of my email addresses, uh, username, email address, uh, password. time zone uh, clean URLs if you don't know what clean URLs are uh, enable them <laughs> if you do know what they are enable them certain sites will you'll have them disabled but I prefer to have them enabled makes it look pretty makes it look a little easier for uh, humans to read it and then I also like to leave the check for updates automatically uh, check because I want to know when my site uh, is updated and for that I'm going to save and continue and I've got a Drupal site. That was all it took to install Drupal. Now that has nothing to do with configuring, um, that has nothing to do with creating content for your site, and moving things around. That's just going from point A to point B, installing it, uh, and installing it on a uh, on Bluehost for now. So I hope that was easy enough. If you uh, if you need any help, comment. If you uh, have any suggestions for the videos, comment, and if uh, to help you out, let me know. Thanks.